Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just finishing up on an install that we're doing. We're doing a couple of, we're doing a mini split with a couple heads and we finished that up today. Did the uh, one in the master bedroom on an interior wall so we had to run the line set up into the second story and then down through the wall we had to run a condensate pump to pump it back up into the attic and then out the side so, so uh, I haven't done, I haven't, I had not done a mini split before, so this was actually my first one, and um, you know, just a great learning experience. My buddy, who happens to be driving behind me, uh, Seth from Anderson Heating and Cooling, uh, he helped me out today generously. So I just gotta. Um, thank him a lot for being there for me and basically showing me how to you know basically how to from, from the he, he basically helped me pre-side it and everything so he told me you know what size heads to get what size unit uh, the line sets um, all the equipment that I needed to get so you know like I said it was a learning experience for me and thank God I had him there so uh, now I now I know I can you know move forward in the in the future I'll be able to probably still with a little bit of guidance from uh, maybe the my territory manager uh, you know order the right equipment and then get it uh, get it installed so now I know how to do it though so I just hadn't done it before and I didn't want to wing it so uh, so I just humbled myself and and asked for help basically and, uh, and I think that's the right thing to do when you don't know what you're doing uh, is to not wing it especially when it's coming you know, especially when it's about somebody else's house. So, uh, you got condensation um, building up in the pans, and that needs to get out of the house correctly. So, so it means a lot to me to uh, make sure that everybody's house is safe after I leave, and that uh, no sheetrock is going to get damaged or anything like that. I mean, I know things happen. You know, especially with the mini splits, like with the uh, the flaring and everything like that. Um, you know those things got to be perfect sometimes they can still leak even when the oil starts circulating through the line set after the refrigerant Seth said that you know don't be surprised if you know a year or two down the road you um, you find that the that there's a little bit of a leak because sometimes uh, or you find oil somewhere on one of the fittings because it can, uh, it can. That oil can actually work its way through the fittings and the threads and and get back out. So, so, but really good time. Sorry, it's so dark. I'm, we've been working all day, and I don't even know if you can see me or not. But it's it's a little bit of light out. Um, so we're done. We're done with that. We set the head. We we, we basically left today. And the system is running, so he that that guy is very impressed. He loves his new mini split heads and his remote control and everything, so he's excited. Plenty of airflow coming through there. Uh, just got to come back Saturday and tidy up a couple things. Like I need to strap the line sets that we that we uh, ran down the two-story wall uh, in the garage, and uh, you know paint my PVC. Um, just tidy up. Basically, my wife wants to come out as well because it's Saturday. <clears throat> I'm gonna come out Saturday, and uh, these folks have uh, some horses and goats on their property, and my wife is like, "I want to go see the goats and horses." <laughs> so, got to bring her out. Road trip. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, we, you know, we ran a new electrical circuit for that. We ran it. Um, Basically ran the line set, set the unit, set the heads, got it all up and running today. Just got to come back Saturday and do some tidy up work. Uh, but i um, going to blow in some insulation after the job is all done. We have roofers coming out to re-roof the house. Um, and then, uh, oh, I guess it's supposed to rain in the next three days too. Like not hardcore, but, you know, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I took that package unit off the roof and there's a hole in the you know roof there where the curbs 
know, where the elbows came down into the uh, padding. So, so I went and got some uh, four mil uh, Bisqueen and laid it over the top of the roof and laid it over on the other side of the roof so that all the rain would just drift down and not get in the hole. Uh, Steve Lab actually said, hey, get a piece of sheet metal and stick it up underneath there. So I had brought a piece of sheet metal to do that and that was a good idea, but my piece of sheet metal wasn't big enough. So um, a combination of everything, basically I had, I had a thin piece of board there before and with the Visqueen that's on there now, uh, I feel good. Unless a tornado comes through here and rips that damn thing off, uh, I, they should be fine. So um, in the next few days, and then the roofers will get out here and do their job, and then I will have the insulation crew come out and blow in the insulation up in the attic. So, uh, but that's it. Uh, that's about it for now. Um, just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on how the install went on the mini splits. So, uh, great experience. Lots of learning. Had to humble myself and ask for help, and I never have a problem doing that. You know, sometimes service calls come around and I don't know how to fix the damn unit you know so I call people and I ask for help so um, so yeah all right well that's about it for now I am gonna stop and